now most of the time we find that the girls is having excessive men's number one or they didn't got their MC for last few months or having some extra Hello, I am Dr. Ashok Majumdar, Senior Gynecologist from Agartala, Tripura State. I am practicing gynae and obstetrics for last uh, around 40 years. I retired from IJM Hospital, Agartala. It's a state referral hospital as an head of the department. And now I am only doing practice in gynae and obstetrics and uh, doing different surgery in gynae and obstetrics. Okay, today I want to speak a little bit about uh, PCUD in a teenage age group and how to manage and what advice is to be given to the parents and to the patient uh, herself. Now you see, the PCUD that is polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome, whatever you say, it, it is a sort of metabolic disorder. The parents, they bring their children, I mean the teenage girl to us with the complaint of either menstrual irregularities or it means or extra hair growth etc etc. Now most of the time we find that the girls is having excessive men's number one or they didn't got their MC for last few months or having some extra hair in their face or the chest or the back or some acne around the face mainly. Now whenever we have uh, seen this girl, most of them are obese and um, if we ask the parents, have you ever calculated the BMI? Most of them, they say that we didn't hurt the name of BMI. That is better. <clears throat> so we make them understand. First of, thing, first of all, we, uh, we must try to make them understand what is BMI. How to calculate it we can calculate in our chamber itself we can give the first line of management is that your daughter is having the bmi of this that is more than 27 8 or 30 more than 30 that is she is obese and they should bring it down to around for 24 less than 24 or 22 23 something like that if not more more less than this now, if we can make them understand how to bring it down, then the goal is achieved in your case. That is, they have to change the lifestyle. What is the change of lifestyle? Most of them, you will find that they are all school going or early college going girls, taking lots of fresh food, taking lots of chocolates, taking lots of other spicy and oily foods like curd, ice cream, etc cold drinks etc etc because they are in their house their freeze is full of these stuffs so you have to make them understand the parents and the daughter i mean girl herself that these are the items they should try to avoid as much as possible you cannot say don't eat at all rather i say you eat it but you should be rational if you eat ice cream then you have to this much of exercise today you have to gain the capacity to eat an ice cream after doing the exercise this much. Okay, then you have to ask them for exercise. I mean, it may be in the time of free and exercise, some jogging inside the home, as because now in COVID era, they just cannot go out into the field and walk and run. And then some yoga and asanas. This combination of three gives them a wonderful result. Most of them, the daughter or the mother says, my daughter is not having any time. She's going for tuition or the teacher is coming to home. She's doing now class 11 or 12 standard. What is the time doctor? Then you have to make them understand. We are making them understand that during study hours, you have to find out sometimes. At least set 15 to 20 minutes in the morning and again another 15 to 20 minutes or around 25 minutes in the evening. That will do the code. That will do the thing. And it is enough along with diet, along with good exercise, along with a good thinking, we can achieve the goal. Of course, we have to give them some medicine. Most of them then ask that 
Why you are writing OC pill, I mean contraceptive pill to my daughter? That is a very common question they ask us. Then we have to be get ourselves ready to answer for that. That is the OC pill along with the other uh, things to come down their metabolic metabolism in the order. That OC pill always makes their period regular. And we have got an OCP of different category, which we are mostly not writing to a, um, I mean, the married woman, no? Dosperinone or Cipro-Acetaron, Acetase, Cipro-Taron, Acetase, only these two varieties we are writing, this mostly look after their regularizing their MCs, regularizing their, listening their kidneys and listening their hair growth. Now we have to tell them how many months or how many days they have to take. We make them understand if it is a case of it, at least more than six months they should continue. Or they, she may extend it up to one year. Or in case of hair growth also again they have to continue it for almost one year or more than that. And regular checkup is must along with some uh, blood test, along with some ERGs because PCOD to diagnose you need to have these criteria PCOD that means you have to go for UG and find out the status of the ovary the status of the how many micro are there and what is the diameter and what is the volume of the ovaries periodically you have to do it at least every 3 months or 5 to 6 months excuse me for today is that much is enough next time if I get a time I will speak something more about PCOD to me patient and to the doctors. Thank you very much.